Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is what we're going to do today. And with the whole beat. All right, really, really cool stuff happening over here. So let's go into Massive, File Tab, New Sound, Oscillator 1. I'm going to pick a squelchy. Bring down the WT position, pitch it down by 12, bend minus plus and double click on the intensity knob so it comes in the middle, and send this to filter 1. And now we're going to copy the same exact settings on filter 2, or oscillator 2, sorry. So, squelchy, bring down the WT position, pitch it down by 12, 12, bend minus plus, double click on the intensity knob, send it to filter 1, and here's what we have so far. So very, very boring stuff. Now I'm going to turn on the modulation oscillator, turn on the phase for the first oscillator, and bring it all the way down. All right, so I'm going to modulate this using the LFO. So let's go into 5 LFO, turn on the sync first, bring it to 1 over 2, and make this X fade curve go all the way up. Grab the LFO, place it on the phase, click and drag this to about right here. And then I'm going to grab it and place it on both my WT positions of oscillator 1 and 2 and click and drag this all the way up. Alright, so the next thing we can do is grab a filter, grab a double notch, and this is going to make your sound a little thin. So check it out. And also let's bring down the resonance to about 8 or 9 o'clock or something like that. And then we can grab the LFO, put it on the cutoff, click and drag this a little bit and check it out. Okay, cool. So now that we added the double notch, it's become a little thin. So in order to make the sound a little more heavier, we're going to grab an insert one sign shaper, bring down the drive a little bit and increase the dry wet all the way. And then we can also grab a classic tube in our effects one and bring the drive down a little bit and let the dry wet be where it is and then check it out. I'm also going to increase the WT position a little bit. All right, and then we can grab a dimension expander, bring down the size and the dry wet a little bit. So nice and wide and deep. Let's turn on the EQ, increase the high shelf, increase the low shelf and check it out. And then let's also go in the voicing tab and click on monophonic. And I think that should be good for now for, for our massive. So let's close this. And I'm gonna grab an EQ8 and I'm going to bring down these mid frequencies over here, right over here. So increase the Q and bring it down and increase the high shelf. So it just makes it a little more clear. And then we can grab this saturator, a bit warmer preset, turn on the color, turn on the soft clip and grab the digital clip. Sweet! So we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is place our macros. So we're going to grab the second macro, place it on the phase, click and drag that up. And then the third macro, we can drag that on our pitches of the first, second, and the modulation oscillator. And I'm going to drag this up to about seven half steps. So all three of these go up to seven. And then I'm going to grab the fourth macro, place that on the intensity of my oscillators and bring it down all the way. And I'll also place the fourth macro on the WT position on both the oscillators. So click and drag and check it out. All 
Okay, so I'm going to copy these MIDI notes on my new massive track, turn that off, and maybe even send a little reverb on this track. Maybe a little short delay. And here's the whole thing with the drums and everything together. So check it out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.